the most impactful revelation that I think I received in Masterclass was probably the one about Melchizedek. The reason why it was so impactful to me is because here it is, you have a guy who is a pre-incarnate manifestation of Jesus Christ. But you also have a guy that when you go to church typically on Sunday mornings and on Wednesdays, you, don't, you never really hear much about him. But yet his impact on everything that progressed throughout God's plan was so powerful. So much so that what we're called to be now is priest after the order of Melchizedek. And what that means is that no man, no priest uh, from the Levitical ages, Levitical priests all the way up until, you know, people who serve in leadership positions in ministry now, no one perfectly exemplified what God wanted but Jesus himself. So him in Melchizedek being the priest to Abraham served as an example for all of us to follow thereafter. And now we know what example we have to strive for. We don't have to look to, you know, a pope, or we don't have to look to some, a man who's a substandard, you know, example of the gospel. We can look all the way back to Melchizedek as an example of who we are and what we are to be. And from there, it just changed my whole perspective about what the gospel was and how important it was that Masterclass included that, um, something that's very, talked about very little, which meant so much to me and changed my perspective on ministry today in the New Covenant. What I can share about Masterclass and those who are entering into it in 2017 and even in the years after that is that it's best to really put your expectations aside. You can have positive expectations that it's going to do a good thing, but to set an expectation about what you think it's going to do, you know, just kind of keep that, keep that and just wait on God to do what it is he's going to do. because. I went into Masterclass expecting it to be an intellectual journey, that when I came out of it, that I was going to be much smarter, you know, in the word and much deeper, you know, all these sorts of things, which you do gain a lot of knowledge. But what's most important about Masterclass and the way it's administered is that it has a very practical application to it so that when I go into Masterclass and I begin and you start in this rigorous schedule, it tests your flesh so that you're forced to put aside things that aren't as important as you thought they were in your life. And so every day it's a lesson. Every day, you know, you're breaking your flesh. You're getting up early in the mornings to get on the call. And every day you're writing short essay answers to question. And every day you're seeking the Father for what it is he's saying concerning what it is you just heard. And after it's all said and done, you look back and you go, wait a minute. Look at all the things that I shared so that it would be possible for me to finish this course. And when that happens, what you realize is that not only have you gained a bunch of knowledge, but you've also grown so much so in the spirit and your flesh has been quieted and you're, you're much better prepared for ministry and much less susceptible to doctrinal deceit.